Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the HJC Smart Bluetooth headsets available at Revzilla.com. So what you're going to see on the table are two variations of the new HJC proprietary headsets. In front of me is going to be the 20B. This is the higher end model coming in around the $300 price point. And then to my left on this beautiful white HJC helmet is going to be the 10B. And that's coming in around the $140 price point. Keep in mind, when we talk about pricing at Revzilla, there is the price match guarantee. So you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. With pricing out of the way, what you're getting for the money, keep in mind that the units you're seeing on the table are for HJC helmets only, and they're for new HJC helmets, the ARFA 11, the ARFA 90, the ARFA 70, the uh, F70 i10. Check out the product page for the helmet you're looking at and make sure it's one of the new ones that is compatible with this unit. And I say that because really what you see is that this is a slim profile unit that's designed to cut down on wind noise and then the battery pack is actually separated to the back of the helmet and there has to be this insert built into the back of your helmet to accept the battery pack. So it is only available on select newer HJC helmets. And the beauty of this is that because it is proprietary, you're gonna have all the wired channel cutouts underneath uh, built into it so you can run the wires without feeling like it's bunched up under your helmet. Now the only downside here is that it's proprietary. So if you decide to upgrade your helmet, your Bluetooth uh, cannot go with it unless you upgrade to another HJC helmet. So just keep that in mind. That is one of the nitpicks that we've seen across multiple manufacturers. There's a lot of folks out there that are designing these proprietary units. Shoei is the biggest one that comes to mind in addition to HJC. And some people like it, some people don't like it. But the one thing to note here is that if you want to just add a regular comm system to an HJC helmet, you can. Really what you're losing is the streamlined functionality that this smart system brings to the table. Nice and low profile on the side, and then because that battery pack is built into the back of it, you don't have to worry about the hanging off or being stuck to the back of the helmet somewhere. Everything is nice and compact inside the helmet. Now, if you're looking at the 10B, the 10B is compatible to something like, or is comparable rather to something like the Cena SMH5. Now these units are manufactured and made by Cena for HJC. So you're getting that Cena name and brand within these comm systems. So if you're looking at something like the SMH5, which is the equivalent of the 10B, uh, you're looking at Bluetooth 3.0, very basic comm system. This is a rider to rider comm system. So either you and a passenger or you and a buddy who is less than a quarter of a mile away. But again, very basic feature with this. So passenger to passenger, you can still listen to music, um, but you're not gonna get all the upgraded features like you will on the 20B. So looking at the 20B, which is the one that's in front of me right now, first of all, something very unique with this one, it's available in two colors. So you can either go with the matte black or there's also a matte white color if you wanna match that to the finish of your helmet. And this is gonna be comparable to the 20S in Cena's line. So you're now bumped up to Bluetooth 4.1. What this means for you is that you can connect with up to eight riders and those riders can be about a mile apart. Now, from my experience with the 20S, I would say that that mile apart is pretty generous and that is definitely line of sight dependent. I would say you're probably looking at more of a half a mile to three quarters of a mile for your real range of how far you'd wanna be away from one another before you start to have audio separation. Now, this will give you audio multitasking as well. So you can be listening to music and you can be talking to someone back and forth. You have music sharing capability with this. And if you're using a GPS unit, you can have music playing and that GPS will come up, will give you your directions as the audio fades, GPS goes away, audio comes back up to full volume. So it is more of that audio multitasking technology, which is more advanced than something you would see on the 10B. You also have FM capability with this, and there is the HJC Smart application. So you can actually go into the app that's designed for this, and you can pair to other units, and you can fine tune the audio settings. So just keep in mind, this is your more sophisticated option, getting up to around that $300 price point. But really what you're looking at is a lot of what we're already familiar with with Cena, the SMH5 and the, uh, the 20S have been out for quite a while. They're tried, they're true, they're dependable units. And really what HJC is doing with this is they've gotten that Cena technology and they're building it into a proprietary unit to really help streamline their helmet design. So if you wanna use a comm system, it just helps to 
you know, fit everything with inside the helmet. Now there's a lot of folks out there utilizing Cena and HJC. So if you want to read more about what other riders have to say, now would be the time to click that little info button on your desktop or mobile device and read other rider reviews. Folks that are already out there putting an HJC smart Bluetooth system through its paces. And if you have more questions for one of our gear geeks as to which Bluetooth system is right for you, the helmet you're using, reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455. They can walk you through the entire line or shoot them an email at cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us today for this look at the HJC Smart Bluetooth Setup. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.